Do we now get more people in your session or do they just wait until they are facilitated to come? Yeah, that too can be an advantage. It said that if we, on our side, if everybody can log into our hand session four, mm -hmm. then, then by the time uh, hand session three starts, it, maybe we would, have finished, we would have finished, then they will probably be advantage. They will have this look. That yeah. can be an advantage that they might have. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. So it's leaving from here. Because by the time when they join us later on at school, we have left this group. We might just do our hands-on session here. I mean, what we're doing now, that we on this group before moving to oh, this group. Don't, don't move to H, the HS04 link. We just stay on this link so that if she joins us, she'll meet us here. If any other person joins us, then yeah, we can just go on from there. Yeah. I think that'd be the second option of staying here. Yeah, so that we don't get lost. Yeah. All right, so is Thomas there? Thomas, you can not here. Okay, maybe I can start. Dan, what do you think? Daniel? Okay, okay, thank you. Thank you. Um, Thomas is not here. You, I can do the red core part, then you can do the database. All right, and that's the red core. Session. Okay. All right. All right. So, I can start. So, so do you see my slide? Nice Is it everybody can see my slide, right? Perfect. So, so if you can see that, I will just literally continue from this flash into the in the morning. So I am going to present you the ANPDP, the African Natural Pillow Database, which has the, which is being developed and updated in my group. And we have we have had, had like 10 to 12 years experience working on this project already. And uh, as, as we speak, it should be the largest collection of physical based literature based molecules from the continent of Africa. And in this talk, I'm going to present the various set options available. And then we are going to do a quick exercise on table taxonomy. So the first thing I will do is if you have your phone or your laptop, or whatever, I would ask you to simply Google, simply Google African minus compounds.org. If you Google that, you are going to fall on the database. So African minus natural products, uh, African minus compounds.org. African minus compounds of oak. So, I am not able to see my, not just able to see my screen after to follow up if you guys are, are having problems. So, if anybody has a problem, you can raise your hand. I will see probably so long into another device. All right, so go fast, go so African minus compound.org. If you have there, then we can now move ahead. Uh, if you move ahead, which quickly see that you have general information about the, the, the database. And uh, yes. Just I, I don't know. Perhaps the presenter is now online. Okay, maybe the presenter is now online. That's okay. I can stop presenting I and I'm going to do so. Right. All right. If she's there, I can. I can okay, stop. I think she's online. Okay. Perfect. And then I stop sharing. I can stop sharing, and then I would I would rather share her. 
our, our slides. All right, so. Okay. I'm sorry, Delhi. So sorry. I have so many problems. I don't know what, what's happening. I am not. I am sad. So sorry. Because I listened to you. It was impossible. I don't know, I don't know if we have, the, we have time to present, but I can have some idea about the work that we have done in Araraquara, São Paulo. Uh, so yeah. Thank you very much and apologize to you and all participants of this meeting. Very nice. I like it because it's important to have colleagues out of Brazil talk about the natural products. So, okay. can you let me see again? <laughs> yeah. Yes, like the, the next, yes, because we don't have yeah. time, no? Okay. Uh, I try to, is, to explain about uh, natural products on my, the huge biodiversity in Brazil. And I try to, to have a, a, a plan of presentation, a value of you know, diversity and also the value, aggregate value of natural products. And also to show some work that you have done along this time and the focus on a, a database that is my dream to organize a database from all compounds that were isolated from Brazilian plant species. The next, please. Uh, I like that, uh, to all of you know that it's very important to work on a uh, huge biodiversity. Biodiversity is a very, very inspirational source of new knowledge, but also inspiration of aggregate values from biodiversity. But the focus nowadays is only that you need to look for products to generate bioeconomy. However, to start biodiversity from the tropical and equatorial environment is very important also because you, you need to to have idea on the natural products that is responsible for biological activity of this impressive lab. Nature did, didn't produce nothing for us. Nature produced that fantastic compounds for regulation, adaptation, etc., etc. The next. Uh, this is the fantastic bioma that you have. As you know, Brazil is a continental country, and you have several different biomes. And Amazonia, that is impressive, and no, everywhere, you don't have too much uh, data about chemistry or natural product chemistry of this fantastic biome, also in Cerrado and other. Uh, environment and, and biome, that is very important. The next one, please. Uh, this I prepared for one presentation that I did in 21 in the SDP in the United States that I like this slide because you have a whole idea about the natural products that change the history of the health humankind. It is very impressive because it's a very complex compound, very difficult to synthesize as a drug. It is still an inspiration for us to look for in different plants of this group compounds that can substitute this because now the company doesn't invest so much money as in the past looking for new drugs or new molecular molecules, because you have this idea and you can modify this structure to create new uh, aggregate uh, medicines that you have several values. So the next one, please, 
you don't have any Brazilian plants in this, in this uh, slide. This is our group. We are a, a very important group in natural products in Brazil and Latin America. And you have two big projects that is CBFAR is from Rapesp, financed or granted from Sao Paulo, that is very strong. Sao Paulo is the art economy of Latin America and Brazil. So we stay in Sao Paulo is quite nice for us because you have a lot of investment to, to develop good science. And also now, recently, we have a big project that is the NCT, the second one, is spread out in Brazil, where you have 26 participate uh, researchers, colleagues, that spread out in several U, uh, federal universities that is very important to study natural products. The next one, please. This is... Uh, both the objective that you have, you're looking for in our bio, but that biodiversity, uh, some natural products that can be useful for bioeconomy. That you see, there are so many investments nowadays in everywhere looking for products that you have uh, are found in nature and you can inspire nature as it produces. New drugs. The next one, please. This is the experimental design that you have in our lab. You have several steps, as almost as traditional on natural products. And uh, if you have good uh, compounds that you have some nice properties for some anti-fungal or anti-cancer that is focus of our colleagues that we are work together in collaboration, who knows we are to be able to pass for the second step that is to, to have a proof of concept aimed at to have compounds able to enter in very, very difficult funnels to discover new prototypes. The next one, please. Uh, now I will show some example that you work. This is a very nice example because it's a plant from Amazon. This plant was uh, uh, very known in uh, traditional uh, mm -hmm. Indians uh, as plant that produce to have some uh, the Indians use as cosmetic to build and we at that time it's very complex as you know that you see that you have uh, several indoluterapenic alkaloids that is very complex compounds one example of a drug of the, this class is vincristine and vinblastine it's very difficult but the build the, the build in this in this Compounds is because you see this is a Corinthian uh, derivatives that nature produce with protective position in this second uh, part of molecule. This is fascinated because if you have this compound with hydroxyl, this open and close because it's emicital. emicital. So this compound it was very nice in complete new skeleton when it was uh, discovered on this plant. The, the next one. So uh, Professor Zink in German at that time was fascinated because he tried to study biosynthesis pathway of these compounds. So he tried to demonstrate that his concept about the Corinthian biosynthetic pathways in some kind of a genus, angiosperma plant species was proved by nature with the study of this species that uh, update uh, Amazonia. The next one. The next one. 
This the type of plants that work, I think you have a lot in, uh, in the African continent is plants from Papaceae. And this is very common plant in Brazil. And uh, it is used as ornamental for big cities and also for squares. It's very nice, very beautiful. From this plant, we have isolated a quite rare uh, piperidin alkali with a very long alkyl chain, as you see, and uh, this kind of compound. You, you work a lot because they present not only for the activity that you see in this slide that have some, some activity, some cells uh, and cancer at the first moment, and the second one we discovered the second activity. But because this is a very, very structured chemistry and conformation in this kind of endocrine. The next one, please. You work a lot with several theses, and this was a compound. There was a class of compounds that would company at some important and we selected to invest in the studies, all properties, and also preclinical trials. This went to preclinical trials for a pharmaceutical company in Brazil. And we studied a lot, you have patents, but this work didn't go ahead. The next one is. This is the, the history that we study so long, but the, you need to, to continue this work. This is a problem also to, to work in Brazil that is not undeveloping countries, developing countries. It's, very, it's a very important economy in Latin America, but you don't have condition to isolate it. This compound is one gram to continue preclinical phase. So the company discontinued this project. This is a very sad because I think if you have a strong, this, this, this glance from the economy and from the importance to work and to develop compounds in the country, the national company should be very nice, but we don't have conditions because it's very it's a very small amount you needed to synthesize. After that, I, see, I saw that one Japanese group synthesized this compound, but it's very slight to uh, the, the law for the synthesis and chemistry that you, put, you synthesize to publish. The next one, please. We try to also develop some modification of these compounds in our lab, but no, no. Uh, modification of the small modification that we are be able to do in a natural product chemistry was good for improving the activity as a natural product. The next one. That you see, this is a very nice also that you can uh, synthesize. And this was a very nice uh, Inhibitor of uh, acetylcholinesterase inhibitor is the same synthetic, but also we abandon this compound because you need so much amount of material, you have a lot of amount of this material. The next one, please. Uh, this is another compound that you try to modify in order to have this skeleta and try to improve, but also only you have publication on this kind of compounds. That is nice because it's our function. We are scientists. The next one, please. Oh, and this is more recently that one colleague in uh, Paraná, in the south of Brazil, a pharmacologist, tried to and discover that this compound is very nice as a new to have some. Uh, uh, activity, neuropathy activity. That should be nice, but again, we are be able to produce a large amount of material because you need to synthesize and you are not expertise in our level to synthesize and not have. 
the next one. The next one, because this one the next, this is the same structures. Uh, uh, this is another example, very nice, because I don't know in, uh, in other continents, but these are plants of PDS, etc., chromata. But I think all uh, people that work on natural products know tetrapteris capii. That is a plant species utilized by Indians in, in America, in continent, in American continent, from the Mexico to Chile to Peru and to the south, the northeast of Brazil. So Tetrapteris capii is not common in our regions. It's common in uh, Latin America, like Peru in Mexico, in the United States, but not here, it's not so common, but you have very similar. And this is a PhD that we met, we study a lot, because these compounds had some very nice uh, acetylcholinesterase inhibition that you are interested. The next one, this is what you produced and published. Uh, you discover also that you met very nice. Now you have some uh, metabolomics approach that you can see in UV. This all compound that you need, you determine all compounds that you have as a rate. Next one, please. And you should wait a lot. Uh, the the tetrapteris capi, it is used by Indians. And they have one. Uh, uh, Tryptaminas that is very active, responsible for the hallucinogenic captivity, and that is used for some properties to treat some uh, neuro disease. So we're looking for this kind of compounds because we had a very sad accident in Brazil that was published in some very important magazine that. You were using some rituals, religious rituals, and this religious ritual they use it, uh, that rapidaries, but you need to have quality control and good classification for botanists. Because if you use the wrong plants, you can die. It. it was the problem that happened in these rituals, because they supposed to, to drink some uh, extract of the Trapteris capii that is used by Indians, in reality, was the Trapteris mucronata that morphologically, like flowers and leaves, is so similar. But the chemical composition is very difficult, uh, very different. So you work a lot of this. Until now, we still work with this plant. The next one, please. This is a lady, she did a PhD, now she's in California, did a postdoc with a Peter Dorenstein that is very famous young scientist on natural products dedicated to metabolomics and focus on molecular biology to try to identify a lot of species of mobilies in Brazil. We collect plants in 22 different places in the Brazilian uh, continent, the Brazilian uh, states. It was fantastic because you have a lot of material and uh, she developed a very nice work, uh, metabolomic work. In the next one, please. Uh, after this, this work, I... Uh, my supervision, my PhD supervision, Professor Otto Gottlieb, very famous in Brazil, out of Brazil, because he was only the one, the only Brazilians that was indicated for Nobel laureate by another Nobel, a uh, in the United States in the past. And he tried to identify plants, thinking that chemosystematics, you, if you have, uh, data that you can map all secondary metabolites in plants will be able to, to produce phylogeny 
to help taxonomy that is a very important now in our, not only for our plants but plants from the tropical and equatorial uh, environment because you don't have too much information on correct taxonomy. So you did a very, very nice work of, that you see all point that we are collected and collected this material to identify by mass because the metabolomic you need to use a uh, mass spectrometry. And also we created this very nice phylogeny to contribute to not only for our focus that we look for bioeconomy, but also to contribute for taxonomy of the uh, studies. The next one, please. This is the general idea that you have about this project, and also summarize you have a very nice study using the methods, and also in the end of this study, we now we publish free article in the uh, uh, acceptable to publication that you have a very, very nice idea about the chemical composition of this plant that also is yes, aimed and use your religion, but you need to take care with when you uh, you need to drink some materials. That if you don't chemical composition is serious and you need to have a control of the state and also a control of the ministry of health in Brazil. The next one. It's another plant, very nice, because this is a, a project with a company. This company is from uh, Germany. It's, a, it's using the Amazonia, the Bakuri. It's a very nice fruit that you use it to produce uh, cake, and just, uh, ice cream, so many products for alimentation that you don't have too much aggregate values. And you can see you have a very, very uh, uh, bark. Uh, that is important. This bark is a, is a trash. So, the very important compound that we have in this plant, in this fruit, is not the pulp that you use it to produce uh, ice cream or another product for, uh, for food. The next one. This is that you know is very known, very known compound, Zappa. The flavonoid, Morello flavon, is the main component of this, this bark that is fresh. So they put in the trash a very, very important compound. So this is one undergraduate student. Now she worked at the company very successful. That she discovered that this important. Uh, bifabronoid that is put in the trash is valuable to use this bark and to isolate this compound to produce and to sell and to put the metal or another company that is interested in this kind of compounds. The next one, please. I think almost finished. This is a uh, uh, now. Recently, we have invested in peptides because all time, almost in 40 years, work on natural products in Brazil, we focus only in small molecules. It's not used in Brazil to work on peptides. And you discover that there are so many species that produce peptides. Now I am in a, in a collaboration with a Christian group. I don't know if you know, it's a very, it's a young, very important uh, professor in Austria. Uh, he submitted a big project in the European community. The first, the first project, the first uh, proposal was approved last week. Last week, you have this very nice uh, uh, news. So you need now to prepare a big project in the European community about peptides. And this is a very important because in Brazil, it's complete unexplored. Is very negative compounds isolated from biodiversity. The next one. Uh, some idea about the uh, some peptides that you know that is important now is a uh, drug. Bancomycin is very known, 
And do you know to it's very common this kind of peptides in microorganisms, in or in some uh, plants, in some uh, sea organisms, but from the plants, it's not usual. You can see you don't have too much work. So I have a student that went to Australia to work with David Quake. He's a big, he's a outstanding researcher on peptides from plants. And it's very nice because you learn a lot because I don't have a year. Even this a very nice compound because if you, are, you have a peptide that is a link from amino acids, easier to produce in lab or synthesize than a natural product that you have some skill. It's very difficult, that's impossible to, to produce in synthesis in large amount if you don't have a spare piece. The next one, please. This, this is some uh, peptide that is in clinical phase, as you see, it's very important uh, for us. Very important, yes, because it's completely explored. I am so interested in this kind of compound nowadays. The next one. It's a very nice, uh, also, uh, uh, but you have now two, uh, one month, you have two very nice uh, reviews in nature about peptides. I will send to you with that, the, the, Reference because it's very nice kind of compound that is to focus in this class nowadays if you are interested in bioeconomy. The next one is that the same is just to see the amount of this kind of compound in this, in this article. The next one, please. So, you have several kinds of peptides. It is very important because if the disulfide bond uh, links that you have when you have the cyclotides, because you have opened and you can close it, but we are, we are not interested in the uh, open change of peptides. The importance is the cyclopeptide. That is divided the small one that is like a natural product that you a small natural product, I think uh, 400 uh, or a few 800 the molecular weight. And the big ones, this is named orbitides, and big ones that is cyclopeptide. This is very important. The next one. The work that you have production in a mainly from the Ophobia, so this is the small one. This plant, we study a lot, because all the studies that you have on Ophobia in Brazil, in a small molecule, has a very important kind of alkaloid. That's what makes sense, you produce alkaloid, you will be able to, to take a, a secondary pathway and use the amino acid to produce this kind of peptide. So, it is important for us to study these peptides, also aimed at to study some chemical ecology of, uh, of, of these plants in several kinds of environments. The next one. It's just to see that uh, the structure was confirmed by astral ray, the next one. Sometimes, you, if you knew a structure you needed to confirm, you don't, uh, you don't, this. It's very important to move in by extra ray. The next one, please. This is another uh, plant that you have the seeds of this compound. That is nice because it's anti toxic uh, to you. It's very it's easier to produce uh, to synthesize this kind of compound from when you compare with a very very complex indole alkaloid, for example. The next one. So this is the timeline that you have peptide isolate in our lab. So you have isolated some uh, a small uh, some uh, orbitides that is nice because they have some kind of conformation, a small molecule. In this small molecule, this conformation, I'll be able to, to bind in, in, in several different receptors. There, then you have natural products. 
and also you have a cyclotides. So in this kind, in this small time, we have is only several of these compounds. Now you have a very important interest from one company to some kind of stomach that I can talk to you about the structure to show anything about the plant, but it's very important because is the is the our compound is our study also uh, contribute to bioeconomy. The next one. This is some uh, example of the opitide that we was published in Journal Natural Products that have this uh, this cytotoxicity that is nice. So this is for importance for studies. Aimed at also not only to publish in natural products good papers, but also who knows to discover some interesting uh, compounds that have a very nice cytotoxicity and, and focusing some kind of uh, inhibition migration. Also, the next one, please. It's also we, we needed to 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 make sequence of this is very nice because. When you work on peptides, we have a very nice condition in our lab because you have 600 megahertz. But it's very expensive for Brazil nowadays because you pass, oh, you, is, you, now it's quite nice, but the last four years, the government didn't invest in science and technology. And this is very, very uh, expensive technique. So mass and mouth is very useful to work on peptides. The next one. It's just to, to show what that published in the next one, please. Uh, it, I think it's very important because I thought that is a show just to show that it's easy to identify that finds them in some plants is quite uh, pure and it's nice to also try to isolate these compounds when you compare with other uh, small molecules. The next one, please. Now, I would like to tell that this is my brain. Uh, along with six, uh, 640 compounds in our lab from natural products in Brazil. So, my brain is to organize a database about all plant studies in Brazil from different biotes. So, this lady in the, the past, because it's uh, starting in 2000. And 13, uh, she, she published the course, I think it's in 17, when finished the thesis. But what the objective? We don't have the natural product information organized from Brazilian plant species. You use the CAS that you know is, is a very important database from the American Chemical Society, but it's very expensive. Nowadays, you have a serious problem for Brazilian science to buy this pack from the American Chemical Society to use all information. And also, this information is in several different articles, it's quite out. So, if you have this information organized in the database, you are be able to contribute to new science because it's not necessary to isolate the same compounds from the same plant species and also to contribute to bioeconomy. The next one. We published a lot of this work about this. The next one. Um, when I, it, this is a very old, but when this was published in 2011, did you see Nature Reviews? That's a very important journal with 45 uh, impact factor index. You see that they, this review is about the database, important database in, the, in natural products in the world. You see all very important with the number of day drives and rotaries. And you see the site of another base that you have just 640 compounds. So this 
take my attention if this, my, our database, our studies is including this very important tool, you need to invest and to see how you organize this information. It's not an easy tax because it's very expensive, but you try to do this. And tomorrow I'm going to Brasilia to, to discuss how Brazil can, we can write a proposal dedicated to having the first database on natural drugs of Brazil with all information that is very important for natural products, for synthesis, for uh, ideas or other uh, objectives. The next one, please. It's a very long that you see a line of time where we started. Next, next one, please. Until uh, the next team, now you still work hard in this. The next one. And it is uh, that you have nowadays in, our, you know, in the link that you are in my university. You try to improve, you invest a hundred thousand dollars less months to try to contract the, the first information from America can go. And this is the, the information that you need, that is a dream to have all this kind of information together. You have published in several spider journals 54,600 compounded isolated from plants uh, biodiversity in all kind of biomes. So if you have all these kind of compounds organized in the database where you can evaluate uh, phenotype, a chemical information that can be used to study metabolomics or to study proteomics or to see how you manage these plants and you have all information you you waste time and brain because there are so many studies that you focus on the species on the, the same taxon or the same taxon that you have the same chemical composition. It's not necessary to work this kind of anymore. You have this information organized with help of metabolomics. Very important. The next one. I'm finished. Sorry. So this is the, another project that you have in collaboration with the Leipzig University. We have uh, in, the, in February, we spent uh, 15 days there, it's very nice. And they try to help us in this kind of also to help because this, this group is very important in, in computer technology information that can help us a lot organizing this kind of information. The next one. These some patents that you have, just to have that you have patents. Like to me, patents is a, is a company, uh, is an industrial property, it's not from our university, because you will be able to produce anything as a bioeconomy. You, our mission is to, to create and to discover Natural process to study based on the science, but we are be able to produce and see. the next one, please. So now, what the, I can conclusion of this brief presentation that I have tried to organize a book idea about the natural products that you have done from the office time. Uh, it's fascinating to work with natural products from Brazilian biodiversity or for African biodiversity or for Malaysia or for China. It's very important because uh, if you have the, uh, along of the development of the earth, this is very complex uh, biosynthesis pathway in plants that depend of the, the light is fantastic. And you have 
thousands, thousands, thousands of compounds. Tried out in this fantastic natural lab that no Nobel Prize in chemistry will be able to discover. So we imitate nature, you use the nature to use this uh, to, see, to, to produce knowledge and also to discover the plants that can be able for us and to equilibrate the, the environment of the in Brazil nowadays is very serious. It's a very important also because this when you, you work in collaboration, I think you are, uh, it's very fantastic because I am a chemistry. So I don't know nothing about biology or about medicine and work together. We produce, you learn. Uh, we work in a big project, big program is very important. In São Paulo, we have biotechnology that was responsible. Yes, a laboratory now recognized everywhere because it's very important to have uh, great support. And also this international collaboration is very important, not only for us to learn, but also to change our information and you have collaboration with Island. We have collaboration with uh, Geneva, and we have a collaboration with German. Very in, also in the United States, it's very important this kind of collaboration, also for change, but also for to, to the Brazilian science. You know? So it's very important, and uh, we have now the next one is. This is the some students that have so all involved in study that is fantastic to work with the young generation is is uh, and also this they are responsible for the work that you have I have done and also I don't know if you know but I am I am very 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 happy and proud. Was short of natural product that is produced by American King's Society. They produce the best, I think it's the best journal natural products in the world. The special issues of March will be, the, will be the, it myself. So it's the first one that this journal uh, does dedication issues from a professor of research outside of the United States and uh, European too. I'm happy. And this is a work not only myself, but if I don't have, that I know that is my scientific children, I, did, I didn't have nothing to be here and to talk to you today with so many problems. I apologize for you that that is a very important moment in my life here after so one hour try to do what happened I present the and I be able to present thank you very much the next one that I think I put official my uh, in in agreement with the uh, so the end of the one that is important, the next one. Collaboration that you have, the next. This is the grant. We have also, this is still yet, this grant. Finished, but we continue and also very important. And thank you so much and apologize again. Apologize again to no, 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 no. the problem no, no, no. with this presentation. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Now, thank you very much to help this old lady. <laughs> thank you, bro. It's, it's been a very illuminating and I think an inspiring session. Is what waiting for? What waiting for? Uh, see that. Thank you so much.
Um, so, um, unfortunately, we don't have much time for questions. Oh, yeah. But yes, I yes. Well, it's just fine. If you, if you, uh, but if you, if you still just give us a couple of minutes, I'm sure there might be some burning things in there. So, mm -hmm. you just raise your hands mm -hmm. and I can take one or two questions. But mm -hmm. I do have more questions. But I, okay. I, I, I okay. want to give people the chance to practice my questions. Um, so please, if you have a uh, question, just preferably if you can just raise your hand and just ask. I mean, just uh, gets faster rather than being. There are quite a lot of, a lot of appreciation on that. People really appreciate the presentation and not say that that's not that. Okay, so my question is, is, is more in the you mentioned partnership with the industry. Uh -huh. So, what has been your experience uh -huh. in the industry? Uh -huh. Are they ready? Do they have appetite? Yeah. It's not uh, yesterday, no, yes. Monday, I was in Brasilia, that is capital of Brazil, for uh, to discuss the Ministry of Science and Technology. Uh, about the subject, because this part of this presentation of the recent is a big project, this big program from, from the federal government support for the state government that is dedicated to, to experience science and big project that you need to have uh, not only to produce knowledge, but also you have you need to have collaboration with companies <laughs> to mm. be able to transform uh, knowledge by economy in our case natural product. It's not an easy tax in Brazil nowadays. Mm. And who are they? <laughs> because we I know <laughs> you, we we are the the most important. Uh, uh, country in the South America development. Even we now is not so good, but it's still the first one. And also, we are in São Paulo. That is considered that São Paulo is not Brazil <laughs> because São Paulo is state to produce is the where you produce the ties. And, tech, and technology came into innovation that is related to companies. And you mm -hmm. have some national companies nowadays more in cosmetics and food supplements, because you have a Natura, that is a big company, that is a company for cosmetics, that is big mm -hmm. produce. When you're looking for drugs, mm -hmm. Payment at medicine, and now that you have a serious problem in Brazil, that is a thing. Yes, yes. I don't know how to name it. Yeah, thank you. Yes, that is produced for arbovirus. You mm -hmm. need to create uh, a glands and propose programs mm -hmm. dedicated to this because it's a serious problem. You are in a tropical, in the equatorial environment. If you have all conditions, you have a tremendous biodiversity that this kind of virus can multiplicate. So it's not a question to produce vaccine, that now you have a vaccine. Yeah. But to, to have also medicines that can contribute to this, this kind of effect. This mm -hmm. is a question of Brazil, it's not a question of multinational from Germany, from the UK, from the United States. So it's a problem nowadays because most of the Drugs that when you import is produced now in China. 
time with the big producers. Yeah. Yes, not only for us. I was in the glory of COVID. Time in France so long time. And they have this focus because it's not easy. So, Sorry. Uh, to invest, to have some companies, pharmaceutical companies in Brazil, but they don't have so much focus on natural products because it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. As I mentioned, these prototypes, the company needs to invest mm -hmm. very dependent from medicine, from drugs, for help. And the companies that you have, even you have a laboratory of share, the most important laboratory in South America, are not be able to produce so many things that they are necessary for us, for us. And also for COVID, because COVID all the time you are so several vaccines, but you need to have one, one uh, presentation about COVID that you have. I was in the United States in November the next last year, and you have some kind of compounds that enhance the clinical phase for infection, but you don't have yet. And also, you, don't, you need to have in Brazil companies interested in this focus, because it's very, yeah. it's a very, very complex this kind of virus nowadays, also in Brazil, because yes. they know that COVID is a lot of molecules, and they all the time they they have new confirmation that is new. Uh, yeah, very yes, every time. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, yeah. yeah. Thank, thank you so much. It's it's I, I really appreciate that input. I mean, it's resonating to what we are doing. Um, also, what we are also facing in our. Um, and thank yeah. you. I, I really appreciate. We really appreciate you. A lot of appreciations are coming up on the chat. Guys, unfortunately, we can't take any more questions. There was thank you very much. Thank you. I was so apologize. No, 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 I, I called to my secretary that I was so, so sad. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. So, so uh, Peter, we will look at advice on some sessions. Some sessions. Uh, I think we already have the links. Uh, but I will still share the links here for hands on three and four. So we certainly just go straight there because they are, uh, I would say, the, the speakers are putting on us. So I will do this. So you can directly uh, join each of the sessions you choose or prefer, and we can move ahead. Thank you very much, Fidel. Yeah, you're welcome. Yes, yes, I, I'm, I'm living to Brasilia. This All right. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you for being here. Yeah. And now you got to Marilia. Ah, this is nice. Yeah. All right. I call her. I call her. Yeah. Yes, that I was so upset and very sad because I can't. But now everything's okay. Thank you very much. Welcome. So we yeah, are straight away going to join our takeaway sessions. And we we return when? Just... Yes, I am. I am. I'm really joining my my own. I'm just asking yeah. for the return time. Return the return time. time you would flow the timetable. Timetable. Uh, maybe we just we just crossed the fifteen minutes, or should we just add fifteen yeah. minutes extra? Yeah, we just have uh, minutes see. extra. Okay. Then we we'll return. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. So I am ready to join my own session. Looks like I uh, yeah. uh, Okay. Am I on the are you guys able to show me on the hands on? On this, Oh. 
soon. Oh, oh it looks like. I can hear you. Perfect. So, which means that uh, uh, do I just continue for what I ended? No, no, no. I assume that everybody that was there. Let me start at a fresh. Okay. I am hearing myself twice. Uh -huh. It is working now where I think because my body was being hit by so I want to be sure that this point. All right, perfect. So I can look, I can okay. Uh -huh. I'll not watch them. Okay. I think that. Yeah. What do you want to do? You want to share what you want? Because uh, it seems like you're sharing myself once. And I'm going to that. No, we are, we are here to clear this. All right, that's fine. Or maybe you yeah. cycle me out in the other. Oh, uh, okay. I want to tell me now. But I'm about to start short. So I was saying that the uh, browser. So get my I will say if they are mine. Um, so are you able to find your way in the browser? Up in there. Then then you browse on corner find this piece of Dash options. Uh, I typically would like to do this. Uh, typically, uh, that way on the browser, what is this for that? I prefer just, just uh, set, uh, share that link from the browser. It's a lot better. I, um, just search a Better. Yeah. So there we go. If you can see this, then I'll just go straight here. If we can bounce. Okay. If you are there, uh, you will certainly see these. Uh, these are. Uh, these search options on the left side of my screen. Okay. And if you are there, first thing I will do is let us do a quick search by keywords. Right. So if you want to do a keyword search, you can start from under here. Start from here. Word search. Yeah. If you can see it, I'll click. So you simply click click there. What is your interest? Uh, are you interested in HIV? Are you interested in post I don't think about SARS CoV 2, but at the time we post this actually to the SARS CoV 2. Let us see Malaria. I am interested in doing what Sam was doing. And I can discuss Malaria and they have 14 pages of information. 14 pages of information on compounds. I got that have anti malaria property or compounds that are uh, projected in 
specifically uh, one of the motifs is an atropinone. And then yeah, the, this compound, uh, from the compound card you have here, it tells you that the, the compound uh, has, was identified from a species of the Nifolia family, uh, the Nifolia genus, sorry. And these are, these are typically known, this particular species is known traditionally in Ethiopia for the treatment of abdominal cramps and wound healing. And uh, it keeps you the plant family and the kingdom uh, plantain because it tells you where this, this species are available because samples of this species have been collected national a herbarium of, uh, uh, of the of the research faculty of Addis Ababa University with the voucher specimen specimen number there. So in that sense, someone who's interested in it, you have to study work on this species or someone else out of the continent may even find interest to know that the reference of this uh, particular uh, sample was there to, for authentication and verification that the, the correct species was harvested. And uh, it is available from Ethiopia. And uh, we are told that it's called its place of collection is well described there. And unfortunately, the GPS coordinates of of the place of collection are not known. And then it tells a lot of information, including information about toxicity that was was obtained uh, from prediction from PKCSN. I mentioned this in the uh, during uh, during the question that came from Total of Stock, where there was a question about uh, about uh, at what or whether six have the LDFT values. Uh, I mentioned that that was not from the this argument was from PKCSM. And the good thing is that if you have your own structure and you are interested in making prediction, you can simply go to PKCSM here. And when you are there, for example, you can actually go, oh, sorry, it's not running this now. But of course, you can always check in what went good. Here we are. So it's running. So for example, PKCSM is, is, is there. Uh, let us say I'm interested in, in running my structure there. Uh, I will simply take, for example, uh, here is my, here's my, my smiles, so PKCSM will accept smiles. If I take the smiles of this compound here, I copy it, I can run it on PKCSM. So you can do the same thing for a structure. Uh, for some of you who are working with pen draw, you can actually draw a structure of pen draw and export the smiles and run it on PKCSM. So there we are copy and paste it. I smile on PKCSM, and if I want just absorption property, I can just click here. If I want just distribution, I can click here. If I want metabolism, I can click. And if I want, for example, if only toxicity, I can do that. But if I want the entire profile of my compound, I simply click on that. Take some time, and it starts running. The structure that we found actually from from PDB, and it's already uh, computing. Some of the properties that are going up there, including water solubility, capo 2 permeability, which are related to absorption and so on and so forth. So it's nice thing is that as each time the new uh, properties calculated appears mm -hmm. there, gives you ideas of of of, of how, how good this compound is going to be in terms of absorption, uh, distribution, metabolism, and extinction of the toxic profiles, and so on and so forth. So somebody asks a question. In the morning about LDP values, uh, so you can actually when you finish running, you see the information there. Particularly things about its toxicity, uh, toxicity, uh, genetic toxicity, then by its, uh, uh, by this uh, its assay, you know, toxicity assay, and then you have here, for example, capacity to inhibit head channels, which are important for cardiac arrhythmia, which uh, a molecule that blocks these channels can potentially. Lead, lead to cardiac failure. For example, you can look at uh, uh, toxicity in rats, for example. This is usually it gives you an idea of whether it's important to take your molecule further. If it's really showing toxicity in mice, there will be no need to take it further. You know? And then, for example, things about toxicity in liver, uh, hepatotoxicity can actually have. Uh, so we did not we did not put all the data we computed in the in the in the ANP, uh, Database that I can show you here. If you are interested in all of it, I simply put PCSM, copy the structure, copy the, the smiles from the LPDB, and run it on PKCSM, and you will have 
all the other properties that we need. Because it weighs mostly things about this key valuation and so on and so forth. Donor and acceptors, and the potato bonds, the P values, and so on. So the surface area, labor rules, and all that. So if you are really interested in this kind of thing, you can, you can do some quick set there to show if your molecule uh, is of interest. All right. Then, for example, if you have the, 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 the molecule here and all the information about the last species and all that, now, now, if you are really interested, you can go further to check in the literature. The, the literature information is available as well. You can also check the authors who made this, who, who made this the study so that if, you are, if they really have sample of the compound in your database, there will be no need for you to. Uh, so if you really have sample of the compounds, you might not want to you just, you just screen the compound. You might not want to go back to the nature to try to realize it, whereas the samples are available already. So this is, this is it. Now, uh, of course, you can read information on Wikipedia about the species. We also have the taxon ID, so you can actually go to the taxonomy database and look and for that to see if this species name has changed over time, or this taxonomy has changed over time. Because some of the very old literature, the species uh, have undergone some changes in the system in the way they are classified, and so on and so forth. Now, let us say I am interested in folia, if I am interested in this particular plant species. Based on this particular compound. So, what do I do? I go back to my previous page. Uh, if I am interested in the folia species, and I'm told here that it is uh, the folia folio, fol, foliosa. Now, I go back here and I go to the species list. And uh, when I go to the species list, I'm interested in the entire database. Of course, oh, then it was from East Africa, so I don't need to worry about North Africa. I want to go faster, just go to Africa because I saw it from Ethiopia. And um, I'm interested in Infolia, so I go to the K, right? That's where it, it was found. So the Infolia polyosa is here, okay? And the nice thing is I also have another Infolia species. So if I'm interested in Infolia polyosa, I would say that this species has 36 compounds which have been identified, which are in the Infolia database. 36 compounds are very available there. Now, I'm not just interested in the species. I want to look at other compounds found in them. Because I can click on the 36, and I have all these compounds, and I don't ask myself which of the families of compounds are of interest. Is it only the pinons? Uh, um, do I only look at the majority of the pinons, actually? Then I might want to, to look at other uh, uh, species with a carbon perception, so far not. It is an actual simple, simple structure. So another thing I can do uh, with it is that I can actually want to clear them. Uh, I say, okay, I'm not just interested in this species. I want in, I'm interested in the entire genus. Okay. So I go to the species list and, I, and then again I go back to East Africa and I am interested in Euphoria. Okay. And then there we go. So the folia species are there. There are two of them actually. And then I, I see that one of them has 36 compounds, the other one has 10 of them. I can I can then begin to go deeper to find uh, to find which of the compounds structure by structure of interest in my study. Now, another thing I will tell you is that beyond just uh, information on the compounds, we also have information on the species, for example, there is this. Database we call the tropical database. Uh, we also have Wikipedia, of course, you can Google that from Wikipedia. Look at these species. If you want to look at, for example, if you have identified your species from, 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 um, from, from harvesting and you are interested in looking, say, how it looks like, okay, you can, you can have a picture and an idea of how this would look like uh, so that you don't go and have a tree thinking it was a shrub, no? And, or, can also go and uh, and if you are interested in tropical database, it will give you a lot more information. Um, tropical database is was developed developed uh, developed this year uh, while uh, while Dave Numa was there, and uh, while we were working on this project, it became interesting for us to also look at inputs of our compounds uh, of our species that are already in tropical. So fortunately, it is slow now. It is slow now, but because you can go to the tropicals and check that. So every species is specifically identified 
the external databases. Now, another thing we can do is that if you are interested in just the compound itself, for example, here we were, we were we started off by, by, by searching malaria, and we, we said malaria, we found the compounds, the long list of compounds, and we started by checking the first one, right? If I'm now back interested in my compounds list, I can actually go back to to my to my to my my study that was there from the start, and that was my compound. And the name of my compound, the name of my compound is this is the name, okay? Ten is a of or whatever. So I, I want to search this compound. So I go to my compound list, and I'm interested in this compound. This uh, this compound I want. So I will try to start by ten, okay? So I go to the compounds list. Okay, and then I am interested in, 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 in this compound. So this is a list of compounds there, and I can actually scroll down and check where my, my, my compound are in. Okay. So in effect, you have compounds list, uh, species list, uh, reference list as well, if you are interested in some references, and so on and so on. Maybe I can do uh, some a brief time for questions. Or I will continue my, my, my exploration of the process. Do you have any questions? Please have been up to now. Yeah, I have a question. Yes, please. So, so I'm looking, so I just did a stage on the malaria thing and I wanted to do your work. Oh, oh, yeah, that option is very available. Then <laughs> yeah. we are working on that. We are actually working on this in the sense that. If we want to, we are building a certain thing where if you want compounds that have a particular set of properties, for example, compounds with particular weights within a particular room, that will be part of the particular room, you can actually say, don't just do so and download all of them. That is not the head. Then we are working on that. Would I get a question? Yeah, you can download it. Yeah, then the option is to download some subsection from the subset. We have some set of it in the next in the next work that we uh, definitely plan to do that. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Does anybody have any other question? I will can take off maybe five more minutes and hand over to Daniel. Oh yeah, somebody's hands up. Please, is it possible to modify the molecule that you have? Yeah, yeah, this is this is of interest. Of course, if you have you have you have one in one, you have a molecule with a bad activity. But what we have so far in the studies are compounds and their tested biological activity as in the literature. Now, if you want to modify the activity, something else of together. Maybe, maybe, for example, you have a compound and it's malaria compound, for example, and you know it's target. You want to modify it to that compound. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah, that is going to be a, a subject of the modeling. And it can be of really interest uh, in the next aspect. For example, when Daniel will show you what you are talking, once you have a drug combination, and you are sure that that's how the compound might be target. Of course, you can actually modify the chemical structure and reduct and see if the if the if the affinity decreases or drops. That is altogether something else. All right. If there's no uh, no more question, I don't have a short thing to do again. What? Yes. <laughs> What do you have to mention the Yes. 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 Yeah. So the model that, 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 that then for the stuff. And of course, we know that there are issues related to the ability domain based on the training set that was used to build models, mm -hmm. right? 
Uh, and we are not sure if natural compounds were involved in the training of these models. But we are, what we are showing is that these models were trained based on data from pharmaceutical industry, in which I would say yeah. would be like more, more than 90% synthetic compounds, right? Yeah. I think that, that, yeah. yeah. I thought that it was, I mean, in some cases, active substance means that measure data from assessment. We usually use picture models and yeah, you very well. Okay, okay, so, okay. We usually use models like this mission and then use it for that assessment. But what the curators want to know is what are the implications of this model. So yeah, I find this on the but I see that if you uh, in the model is described somewhere, it says what are the implications. Yeah, but more than that, all models are wrong, but sure. some are useful. That's why. Sure, sure. Actually, PKCSM was published in in, in a payment term in 2015 by the old nine more nine years old. And uh, of course, the, the training data that was that was used, but because we have not had we have not yet we have not had a version published, and I, I don't know if they had seen the roping the models, but for sure at the time. He published our first book in 2017. This was a really current, current tool that was used at the time. Of course, more people use site and then than, uh, than PKCSM. Of course, I know you guys, the regulatory guy, can work with this scope. I think you guys will know what with this scope, right? Uh, yeah, I know this. But for sure, the new scenario would be if you have a training set for which you have an R square, the data that you need to have, for example, you have an R square of 0 0.1, it's R square of 1. You don't have that, right? <laughs> Even with your training data, you have an R line, so, so then it, it can be an issue. All right. So uh, I would say, yeah, thank you very much for the interest. So uh, one last thing I'll do is I'll take you guys to the last thing will be structure. Okay? Uh, the last thing will be structure from my structure. Are you there? Now, if you are on the structure, you would uh, see that there is a, an interface that would load, and uh, there is a possibility to draw a chemical structure. The one I use in the tutorial is acetyl salicylic acid, which is uh, because of for uh, aspirin. And here, for example, I'm interested in drawing this structure. For those of you who have worked with Tendra, for example, it's very relatively easy. Okay. And then I am interested in an OH here. Or, and then of course, I would build an acid possible there. And then I would do something like this. Okay. And then, of course, the oxygen. Uh, oh, no. Did I do? And this is the oxygen there. All right. So it's acetyl sorry, sorry, plastic. I have a problem now. I have to build the benzene, then build the carboxylic acid. Fortunately, I have to break this you now. Uh, yeah. So I would more or less do this. So I want to be sure I have my aspirin. And I can see the house. Is that correct? Acetyl. They don't need this formula. This is here. Yeah. Right. So, if that is fine, and I'm interested in the similarity, I'm looking for similar molecules. So, aspirin, for example, I might want to say, okay, I have a cut off kind of module of 0 0.7. Because you already knew this from yesterday from Janet Stockwell, is a cut of module. Uh, coefficient, and if I'm interested in similarity search, for example, as the select similarity. Now, when I'm building my structure, I was drawing the smiles. This is nice for those who can write smiles. Those who can write smiles is very easy. And once that is happening, I can now click on search, for example, and it would tell me, preferably, it would give me a list of compounds that are similar to aspirin, okay, and it gives me three of them. If the three of compounds that in my database are similar to aspirin, 
just be the adrenalinic acid, adrenalinic acid A, and it's similar to aspirin with the similarity coefficient of 0 0.74, just be the anisic acid as well, and also, of course, we know the parametoxy, the zoic acid is also very similar to the same or structure. Now, let us look at the first one. Now, look at the first one, this is the structure, right? So this part of it most look, looks like it has this component of aspirin, and this other part has the aspirin flu side, because the only difference is this is a main group which is absent. And uh, so, in essence, this compound is, is, is found in each of the species uh, 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 from, from, from the family of Sakotase. So, in essence, you can look at the parameters in there. So, you want to ask yourself if aspirin is such a known, a well known uh, uh, anti inflammatory drug for many years, at least. Then this compound from the medicinal plant also the potential ability campaigns. This can be some interest for you to look at. So synaptic set is one of those things you can do if you have a compound of interest which is drug and you want to look for other compounds that you can that may have similar properties. Okay, that is one of it. Uh could be one of the molecules, there were three hits there. So you can actually do the same thing for atemizine, you can do the same thing for for any antiviral drug for treating COVID, you know, you can do this. For example, uh, this is uh, the other species, the other uh, compound, you know, this is very loose, very much, very much like, 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 like aspirin, you know, because of the same cost structure. And, and then, and then we are told, we, we told it compound phenolic, of course, that we were not, we were not told the activity of this compound because it was not a friendly literature, but of course, we are told that the extract from this species from which the compound is got, uh, and from this and from the genus as well, has no is not to have cytotoxic effects, anti-tumor activity, anti-plasmodic and plasmodic activity, and so on and so forth. So, in essence, you can even direct it functions. So you, you can you can actually this can this can be a way of searching compounds for potential activities, potential new activities for which they are, have not been investigated before. You know, look at this compound, for example, which we saw was that in that aspirin, and we are we are told that uh, uh, that this uh, the, 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 that this compound was isolated from the species for the first time, and this was a from the same family, Sapotase, and so on and so forth. So you can you can find there are different ways you can you can discover new activity, you can discover a compound which is which has already a known activity. And you can want to investigate similar compounds or compounds from the same species and so on and so forth. And then this is the last one I just mentioned. We are told that the, it came from the species that grows around Egypt, where, where the whole plant is used for treatment of fatigue and uterine uh, hemorrhage and so on and so forth. Women and also used to as a charm for childbirth. So there are many things you can do with the database just to give you an idea of what is possible. So thank you for your attention. I hand over to, to Danny. Or is it to Thomas or to you guys? This is Thomas. Thomas? Are you alive? Thomas? Thank you, it's not uh, I don't know. So somebody so, can see. I can see the search, sorry, uh, for a somewhat based on functional groups. How about the table tennis of the molecules? Yeah, I, you can actually, uh, okay, because here it looks like they are all, they are all, uh, let's see, they are all flat molecules. <laughs> yeah, sorry, there was one extra one I put on a screen that was not there. <laughs> yeah, any other question? All right. Then Daniel, over to you, please. Thanks. Um, I think I'm going to stop sharing. Yeah. Okay. So since I will share some few uh, slides of any, then we go to I will show you something later. Then.
uh, with Sukhide Tele was trying to say, maybe I start from the uh, similar session to what we do. Normally, doing so is something what we call um, like kind of lead optimization. And the thing what we do is this one that I'm going to share with you. Um, is this one? So I think you can see the screen and I can only share this one. Yeah. So you see the screen, my screen? Can you see it very well? Yes, I can see the screen. Perfect. So I, I, I continue from where I just spoke. Um, I don't think we use a lot of techniques and a lot of uh, approach. Um, the machine learning or in here in our pain or in blocking. But the most important is to move from heat more to heat optimization or to heat capture. And we can do it. The aim is to do the activity of the molecule. Now, take an example. This is a heat molecule, it's a natural product. Experimentally show the good activity. But here I did an experiment and then to optimize to improve more the activity, which is now increasing from minus 7.7 .7 to minus 9.54 to recover the power. So this is we can move now from this as the starting point to here. And basically, what we do, the one we do is like that was talking about that search or assessment, we can find similar molecule that we can optimize the molecule and obtaining even a more potent than the, 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 the starting uh, material. So once you have a, a, a starting, uh, you have now a molecule, how do you do? You, you, we have different approaches. So we have a vegan based drug design based and the structure based drug design. Okay? With ligand based drug design, you don't actually need to know the structure of the protein or the target. You need to have the molecules that are known to work, and then you can work from there. So you can develop some models to train it, and then you, to make the new molecule learning from the already trained. But our focus for this evening is on the structure-based drug design, where we need to know the structure of the drug. I will share another slide uh, here that I think I will just talk briefly, and then we go to some of the exercises. Okay. Um, okay, this is it. Perfect. So I will not. Uh, go through the entire screen, but I will uh, do this. I uh, will uh, here. So this is what I was saying that we need to the drug discovery process. We need to know the disease, identify the target, and then find the molecule. Then you need to go to clinical trial, clinical and clinical testing, go to human and go. This is ideally a traditional way that we uh, use covering the drugs and uh, making medicine to the market. Ideally, we need to involve for the computational approaches and, uh, and then recently the advent of computers. Doctors has made it possible to enter drug medicine in a very short period of time. So, if like in every single step, identification of target will be involved. Clinical approach and by format talking is all up to getting the drug more, which will be shortest. See that when you are doing structure based drug design, in particular when you start with small product, 
you need to take care. It's not just taking a molecule block. So science, we don't uh, do like that. So you need to first understand very well your molecule. Okay? If there is a new person, you need to understand. But then you need to take care. Of it. Etc. Rafael factor the hydrogen atoms. They play a very important role in structure based drug design. So you need to be taken care of the population state. It is very important. Wonder where. So the question is what happens if the protein is not resolved? Normally, Collaborate with the structural biologists who normally solve the proteins by NMR, by XLA. And fun enough, good nowadays we have, uh, we can do it uh, by computers with the more Thanks to Alpha Core, that has been doing a very good job getting up on the computer and the proteins, molecular target on solving the, the, the proteins. Which I've shown in very good uh, validation and uh, relation to the experimentally validated uh, proteins. So homology modeling also is we use computationally to model the protein if it's not experimentally solved. There are very key issues that you see that sequence similarity between the target and the template and the incorporation of the ribbon during the modeling. There are tools that uh, are good, like Cotera, Steta, Siemens, so They are very good. There are some challenges that need to be undertaken and they need to be protected. So the area under the operating characteristics is very important and is a good measure for seeing if you are talking or you are too risk doing better. We can compare experimental data and define the affiliates to see if it's doing well. So validation during molecular logging is very important. The sampling problem is, is, is something that should not be underestimated, it's very important. But nowadays we can address. Though many of the computer tools for docking, they normally allow like predictability of some few residues. The lack of skills is, is a problem. But the last complex scheme tried to address this one. So this is a kind of example of a last complex scheme to so work for dynamic. And then you select a bunch of proteins, and in each of the proteins, so you call them in sample, you do a more product of each of these. And this is typical of the so what is docking and what are the docking algorithms and what they do? Big theory is that you have the receptor and you have the ligand. We compute the, or we calculate the binding to the image, so we get the complex. We have the receptor, we have the ligand, normally we use the name and ligand, and then you have the complex. So this is the receptor ligand complex. There's a lot of forces that are involved in, in what you do before a Okay, so the example of, of typical scoring function is this one that you the hydrogen bond, the electrostatic, and the conversion of dissolution energies. So it takes care to compute the binding affinity. And of course, if I have uh, to make this equation again. Equal to the contribution of interaction minus the temperature times the entropy the contribution. But the entropy brings all up about this one. And again, so um, now in brief, before we go to something that I wanted to show, so I want to request you to get this insight. Okay, is there any question up to that point? Before we move to the next uh, step, if there is no, then I will go. So, today we showed us how we 
where we can get the more. We can get the uh, yes, Angela, for web password. Sorry, Daniel. I, I have a minor question. As far as what? the question on the molecular talking of the binding activity is concerned, what if it happens now that the, the ligand, let's say, interact with the receptor molecule by van der Waals interaction only? And at the same time, having the very lowest binding affinity, when that molecule may be qualified to be a drug like molecule, a, a, heat, a heat molecule that can be subjected to further analysis for, for drug development. In answer, it might be not, or it might be depending on the talking how to adjust that. Might be binding of targets. If it is binding to the active site or a tree, yeah, but for a groups to form hydrogen bonds, then it cannot form a hydrogen bond. Uh, about interaction with Favorable uh, interaction between the hydrophobic part of the team and that of the, the, the ligand, they, they, they will form the matter words on an hydrophobic interaction. And the less binding affinity tells you something that the interaction of the two might not be favorable. By getting on it, might be not a good. And the heat, but first analysis needs to be done to know. So you cannot all judge from that end. Provided that if everything has been done correctly, you can have small confidence on it. But you need it to be sure and confident that everything that was done was perfectly done. Okay. Then you can say maybe not in. Any any other question? Yes, um, more. Right. Please, more. Right. You are raised. Your hand is raised. Please go ahead. Hello. I cannot hear you, but just you are uh, raising your hand. Please go ahead, ask the question. Thank you very much for your presentation. But uh, ask it. So, why do you necessarily need the doctor? Yes, I can no. It's a very necessary condition and you might be getting some tactics. There's a lot of things that we need to do. And it depends how the blocking was. It did involve, for example, water molecule testing. If they are not to pray and hold that job, was the water molecule involved? Was there things possible, higher, or some of the excuse? So, if all the factors are involved, then we can give or tries to be consistent. Okay, this is good. Gives a con. But you just download the molecule, talking, bumping, bumping, one token, say, this is it. Then you go by chance, but something. Okay. So once you have already, uh, now I've got it. Once you already downloaded, uh, I mean, once you know you already downloaded Bolivian, you need to prepare. And 
once you have prepared, you need to also do the same. I said the receptor can be orange moderate, and thanks to alpha forms, now we can get it. How do you obtain the protein? I will show you another window. Um, sending so Maybe I will show you my screen here. And this is the thing. Okay? Normally, the uh, entire of the proteins are stored in the data bank. Research for collaborative, research collaborative for structure biology, uh, RSSB, PDD, data bank. This is a collection of all or many that people, and then they share collaborative. Suppose that I want now to download to my team, my protein is the normal app code. Okay? Let's say my protein code for module is one zero zero four. If I put here and I say search, once you do the search, you then bring up it. I can click it like this, and it will give me so many options. Then here at the back, I can do a lot of can explore the structure, I can explore the sequence annotation, the electron density, the validation report, if they look at the action, the positive look here, you will see that there is a ligand. You can see that the ligand housing is different. Uh, it will bring up a view, and then you can see you work in and the ligand how it is. Can rotate it, right? We it is telling you that this is a boundary, and some is water 2040, and also there are ions that they can they are made together with it. So you can do a lot. Once you are sure that this is of course, remember this at the moment the sequence of. So if you want to go and use it, there are different formats that you can download. And you can download using past format, these or errors. For me, I'm interested in this is formatted. I will say I download this PDD format. I will download. Okay? And it will go into a downloading folder. Then you can type to save your computer. Once you have saved your directory into the directory of the web, and you can start using this. Okay? But if you are working in this, very, very different. It's better for me, this is the things I like to do in that area. You learn how to write the code, so the code can do everything. The code will be in the recording, I mean, the download, the uploading. On right me and you can see and you can help me. And I will share with you some of the scripts that I normally use. So I tend to avoid spending my seat to do the cutting of this download. Okay. So we will start with the question. What? Uh, we have downloaded and then we need to find. Yeah. Ah, perfect, perfect. Good. So, um, where are we? Uh, yes, we are here. Good. So, our protein that we downloaded is perfect. This is the protein we downloaded, and we can still open it. I think, I think you can see the screen, right? No problem, right? So the protein will already download it. More 
after it makes the in the molecule. So you can use molecular editors like the lab. There are several several of these molecular editors that you can use. So that is one of the editor. So what you can do manually, you can prepare this manually. You can go to here like it was selected, chain, maybe you say select chain A, you say I think, and then and you first think games on my chain, but you have hundred protein. Now you are doing from comments. Spend a month doing this. But this means you can at least spend one minute, two minutes each time. What we do is that you write a and some time, you write it for, for me this what I do. So I have brought some of these tools like a, a script that removes chain, a script that creates a move chain. If my protein has two a that you to chain, so I, I write a script slash Again, that I tell when it's my protein. So, my protein is my plasmodium phosphoramidase. For here, it is now in the directory of tools for people who I need to change this directory and then name it editor. And when I this, I use open bubble. So, the open bubble can be browser, current music. I can use it to operate into scripts. I use it. So I will call script uh, open bubble and I use it. So I will say there is open bubble in my computer and then let me use it. And then what I will do, my call, I say for every big bubble, here if I could have several of these, maybe be a hundred, I don't need to go for one after another, one and another. So my script, I will say for the PDB file in input directory where they are input. So I so you Daniel, yes. I think if the, those description of the script uh, are also being displayed because we see only I can only the where you ended sharing with us showing the directory where you are working. But you were talking about the script and some of the instructions that are included in the script, but I cannot see. So, no problem. You cannot see the script. I will share it for you to uh, maybe I go in. Hey, can you see my screen? Oh, now, yes, now, now I see. If I open this script, do you see it? Let me try to open this script because I see the files of those splash scripts. The file yeah. files. Yes, now I can see. You can see the script. No, I see only the files. Ah, uh, you see only the files, not the script. Yes. Then I yes. see the files. I will need to share the entire screen. Okay. So, do you still see the screen? Yes. Hello? Can you see the thing? No, 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 no.
lalu tuan I just for the text lalu the description challenge lalu the dictation okay fine doctor Um, but what I was trying to explain is that data now in order to set aside different things that can help you with preparation, everything, and you spend less time is doing effort. So we can make something that goes more into how to make and I think we have used more time so I will now make but I will go straight exercise that I want to make okay okay uh, so let me try sharing again you need to tell me if everything is okay or everything is okay. I will share. Share this. So, uh, Angelina, can you see the, my screen? Yes, I can see. And you can see the terminals. Yes, I see also even the terminal. Perfect. So that time I will do the call. So you see, there are many docking tools. For me, I like to use a uh, scripting. Here I have also prepared a protein I call protein. So this protein.c is doing a docking of Single event to match for blood. If I will not get a protein, this, then I list there is a lot of like that. So all these are the list of the proteins that I already prepared with victim. And because I'm doing a single gradient to match for blood. I need also to prepare, and because I'm doing this, okay, great best, okay, so I need to prepare the configuration files as you can. So I need to prepare also the configuration file for each of the protein. So each protein then has its own form. So for here, I have one protein, and it is concave file. So this what you find it exactly what it does. Only, <coughs> only contain the information about the center, the center, the size, and the center of the active site. 
and the date sum of the information. So here I have the energy entry without giving us the number of mole. I could even put a lot of data if I wanted to make some less use of the protein flexible. I can make this one. I make it like this and select some of the less that is possible. Okay. Okay. Perfect. But again, if I go to the uh, folder that contains the result, okay. I go to the folder that contains the ligands, I only have one here. So I'm doing something more important. And finally, I want to show you the, my, my code, my protein codes. This is what my code is doing. The first part of my code is trying to bring in the gun. This one. The second part is trying to direct where the code is available. The third information is trying to get where the code file is available. And that's now doing something. That is that make a directory of the results. You see, in my directory, there is no any function for the results. I'm telling that make a directory. Which any result where the docking will be put there in the audience. And then I'm telling it to get another file called a text with a top scope. So I will take the top scope into a top scope file. And then I need to create a file to store binding energies. The idea is I don't want to demand. I do the docking, I go to the file, I look what is the highest energy, pick one. Wasted your time, find the errors, there's a lot that you can do. Copy with error, the number, copy paste, you can do a lot of errors. So we want to do automation. So here, we are telling that we make a binding entry, and then we do binding link. From which can be added the binding energy file. And once we are done, we will do some processing of the. Once everything is done, we do now our login, our pinna. I write back here. What is doing now here? We progress our 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 process. We tell it to call the ligand from. From the ligand to each of the proteins, each of the proteins. I have cut it three proteins, but making this ligand in block to each of protein until all the appears. And I need to put the docking for them into it. And I tell it to print all the results, draw the results, and then at the end, I need only to not to miss. This is what we are going to do at this point. So if everything is clear, if everything is well, and everything is clear, I will just allow my script to take that is it. And if it is everything is okay, then you will see my code coming, and it has already created a file, a directory for the result. And it is now starting with the docking, showing me on, on, on this what is happening each of all the products. If I open, if I open the result, are you able to see? Can you see the two file directories where I open or not? No? Are you asking? Uh, can you see the directory that what this is? They are operating in the directory. Can you see like 
One in each, I see one in each. And I see, I see now the talking process is in the progress. Just to see from one. You don't, you don't see a new file in the that you get it. No, that, that's it. That's the platform. No, I see only the platform that is showing the docking process, which is progress. Okay. Uh, I will create a new uh, Okay. Do you see a new okay? Yeah, this this time now I, I see the platform that you shared with the working director with the terminal showing CV change director. Then. Okay. Now I do use that. Do you see it, right? Yes, there you see. Now we have like profile yeah. in a new right? Yeah, all those yeah. six files are there. See, directory is there. Okay. So we wait for some time because it is really working now. It's in. But it will keep on increasing once it has done. Now, if we see now, you see the number has increased. It is getting a file of It is keep on increasing the big number of files into the resulting folder or result file. So once it is done, so we need to give that some few seconds that we done because they are many. Won't take much time. Once it is done, now here I open this one. I will do the form. Not too complicated. If I get out of the result, if I do the list, there is another thing that has been created. This one is trying to show. It is now recording the binding energy and put them we are recording. I'm not doing much, but it is recording and putting them. And at the end of the day, I will ask it to plot the binding energy for me. So I don't waste time, so I will give it to work. I go to find the copy, that's done. Then I will come and see how the web has been done, and I want to see. Okay? So while it is learning, we can, can I welcome if there is some question. Is there any question why the business is coming? Okay. If there is no Yes, yes, and go ahead. Sorry, once again. So, even with the instructions that it should be sort out those binding affinities and assemble them, they are included in the same spirit. I can do everything. Thank you. So, the advice for me is spend more time to make this link, make your life easier and better. So maybe the other thing, Daniel, is there any possibility of, of editing the script so that it can go the vice versa now? Instead of having a single ligand, then you have made multiple ligands, but you 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 run docking against a, a single protein. Yes, you can do whatever you want. You can write a code with a single. But then you may never get that. 
Yes. No, is that uh, you talked about static fishing? The same as the bus stop. I know, yes. Yeah, but I mean, my, my background is in pet chemistry, and uh, I find this coding thing uh, fascinating. Uh, how can I get to know that kind of code? Okay, um, I, I started an online course for eight months, and this is the first month, of course, we are in the third week. Third, or, yes, third week. So you are welcome to join. Uh, online and uh, I've started the training on how to about action that design making script coding that can make smart science when it comes to uh, doing these things. I love to get it. Sure, we can uh, we can uh, talk about the project after the there was another hand. I don't know if it was Philip. Yes, Philip, please. How many times? This is me. Ah. How many times, how long does this experiment take? Yes. Ah, good. Feel it. And now, talking general is cheap. Not like the more dynamic situation. So here is trying to take some time because the number of, uh, I have so many ligands, I mean, protein in the academy. And what I'm doing is like every single thing is being blocked. Let me see. Um, go to uh, that. Yes, now I have this. Any protein that have been talked about? Any? And we will think. Good. But this. So time for molecular blocking is not much expensive. When I say expensive, I mean the computational power that it uses. It is big compared to molecular dynamics, and then you can spin in millions of compounds in a short time. Uh, it takes short time, but how long? For a single molecule. Uh, it can take one minute, second, but it's, a, it's the other thing I was talking in the afternoon, the compressional neural network takes uh, it quite a longer time because you need to go deeper, there's some deep, deep learning, you need to go different uh, nodes, so the way you go deeper, the way it takes time. So it really depends. Okay. Yes, uh, Jonathan. Yeah, thank you, Daniel. Uh, this year I approached to target fishing. I find it very interesting. Uh, when you can have uh, uh, one leader target uh, many uh, proteins at the same time. Yeah. Uh, but I, I think I think it is a very uh, interesting approach. Uh, being that when you do one leader to one target and get the result, and uh, the the leader is very promising. Eventually comes to you develop into a drug molecule. Uh, I, I'm a biochemist. Uh, I'm a biochemist. My mentor in molecular biology is Dr. Jacob. So I, I can say I'm a parasite biochemist. You see, what, what, when you have 
Any how the compound that there is only one in a quickly develops uh, uh, distance. But if that uh, molecule, that compound, that drug, that is very toxic within the parasite, it becomes very difficult for the parasite to develop resistance to that drug. So if we have an approach where we can use machine learning, plant talking, to verify if one compound at the same time we can see how many uh, proteins you can buy to, then it's very interesting. So yeah. uh, I would like to get it done with you, uh, maybe to uh, Dr. Cheka. Absolutely, you're welcome. No, thank you. I, I, I'm learning something very interesting. <laughs> All right. Here, want you say something? Get it? Yeah, do you want to? Yeah, I would say that uh, actually we have um, we have to reach that one at a time. Just that we have to continue this more because of the when we have the five minutes presentation, he will let it through. But now that we are not sure about Thomas, I would say that we have really done a lot. Have you looked at some of the questions in the chat? Yeah. Uh, so while we are waiting in our login, please can go with the same that. Go after the break. Don't see, maybe you heard about this place. I don't see questions here. Mm -hmm. Maybe there is no. But me. Maybe because I'm sharing this thing I don't see anything. Okay, so question about sharing. Okay. Can you kind of share it to you written or writing or not algorithm? Uh, yes. Okay. The doc is just on. so now the docking has completed a everything. Okay, now you was able before to see my screen, and now in my screen you see some many other files at home with me. Okay, so you will see. Try to you know, do you see this graph has been plotted? No, I can't see it. You can't see it. I mean, I cannot see. We still see the, the, the platform you shared showing the end results. The end results. Yeah. Okay. 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 okay, okay, okay. Let me share this. Okay. Um, um sharing the Google Meet sometimes is challenging. Finding the challenge I will share on this. But, so this one I think you can see. Sure. You can see the line perfect. Yeah. So sorry. <laughs> okay. So now this is the binding energy for the level of that three proteins against a simple region. Then tries to use some of the promising molecular targets in its organization. So if you are to Hey, I want my cut off to then, then you will still have like four more that are targeting are multiple target. You are cut off, you say it is any of any more, in any way. You say my cut off is minus 10.5, then you have right more. I mean proteins that are multi target. But the things that I wanted to share with you, we can do a lot of automation and do a smart and nice science when we are doing our, our science. We don't need necessarily to be 
like sitting for everything, picking and looking at the highlight. Sorry, but you can do an automation system will do everything, for you, but you should know what you are doing. Okay, so for the other part of the machine learning, I was talking, I will not show you because you know, for the benefit of time, but ideally, uh, it is this one, and we can do a nice and smart way to work the same. We can download the protein in a single line. We make a line, we download the we make a line in the protein, and then we can do everything in a nicer way and very smart. And we store everything in a file, and then we just follow it out. So, this is uh, the thing uh, I wanted to share with you. And, uh, I should appreciate, thanks a lot, and uh, I apologize for the uh, my connection problem I have. That delayed a little bit for some minutes. So, today I should say maybe this is the answer to some extent or some other about Thomas. There is no more about it. Okay. For those so, thank you for being Thanks. Yes, thank you very much, Danny. I would say that we have had this third of the week in action. And every time it's getting better because ideas are always coming up. And uh, I would say that kind of fishing can be very tricky, but it's only one of them. Um, for example, you're using only molecular docking. Typically, you know, the docking output you want to trust is scoring function. And usually, the scoring function is. Is if you are using, for example, chemical, which is uh, uh, which is based on on uh, experimentally uh, derived complexes, the, the PDB. You know, uh, you will certainly know that every time the PDB is updated, so expect that the more, the more recent, uh, uh, the more recent digits uh, of finger. Uh, I should perform better than the previous one. Right? When I was doing my PhD, it was quite, quite, it was quite different than right now. So what I'm saying is, when you have an empirical scoring function like test score, it is trained on polyligand complexes from the PDB. So you are putting, you are putting it's just one in many millions of of proteins that are used to train these. Uh, is this calling function. So it can be very tricky. Trust one value. That's why I appreciate when that is combining docking. So the docking just gives you the orientation. So you now just you run the development of using uh, machine learning to predict a new score that is more more reliable than the than the case score. That's correct. Of course if you have knowledge based first as a, a scoring function and force be based scoring function. Sometimes that was more reliable. All depends, every system has to do it, and every system has its own the properties of the binding side and so on. So it all depends on which which possibly uh, you're using to write these uh possibly using phosphates or function. So every phosphate is different, depending on the number of claims of what is used for the binding uh, the bonding term. Sometimes most most potentials use for the bonding term. So every time it's the, the theory is different, and so you expect different outputs, right? So there's always a need to restore. So, uh, so typically you will use machine learning for this now. Also, MMGD is a salvation model because when you're doing stopping by blocking in the task phase, and so when you include salvation, your, your approximation is a lot better. So, in essence, it's now because every set of time the question has always been how far my or my compound can be started and not to be started. If you have, for example, one particular parasite and the compound has some vitro activity in killing or, in, or inhibiting the growth of the parasites, then you want to know which of the targets in the parasite is my compound binding to. Can be binding to one target or multiple targets. So, target fishing is not important uh, to, to, able to, to determine the mode of action of, of, of the compound. Particularly the natural products. And even there, you can you ask yourself, is it called natural product acting synergistically? Uh, at the end of the day, we always know that the problem is a multi dimensional problem. 
the same time it's a many compounds in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a, in a concoction or in a, or in an extract because often the traditional medicine is used as extract so which means like there are many compounds and most likely the, the effect is that each of these compounds will divide into multiple packets. So it's an end to end combination of matrix for DDPM. And it's a lot more complicated than one compound binding to one habit. <laughs> so, so this is this the thing. So I with many compounds, each of them binding to several targets. So comes in for but anyway, the more we are being more advanced with those like I think neural networks we are converting more or less those that those are the at the end, you always want to validate it experimentally by, 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 by chemical assays to be sure that if it's an enzyme you are talking about initially, you want to be sure that the specific compound is the, the conversion of the natural, the conversion of the natural substrate of the enzyme. Yeah. So we have had a quite nice uh, hands on session, and I hope uh, we should join the other group at the ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, thank you. Very much. So then, there's this round of the day and look forward to tomorrow. Yes, good bye. Bye bye. So, we're going to leave this session and join the next session. Hopefully.